Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Working on a John Deere X300, going to show you how to install the mower deck belt. First thing I want to show you is that whenever you get a part for your machine, you should go down, look at the model number. It's underneath the frame right here on the X300 series. They're right here. Okay, and the model number, you're going to need that whole number there when you call up John Deere, or you can go online and check it out though. But that's what you need to look up the right part for your machine. And we're going to do the belt, and over here we're going to show you some tools like I normally do. This is the OEM belt. I definitely recommend using OEM belts. I'm going to use a hook that I have made to take off a spring that we need to get to. A pair of pliers, 3 8 ratchet, two 13 millimeter sockets. Uh, I'm going to use one for my electric ratchet that I always use which I don't have out here which is this electric ratchet is what I use and you can use a uh, 3 8 15 millimeter we're definitely going to be using a 3 8 the 13 millimeter I'm going to use a 3 8 uh, this is a quarter inch drive because I use a quarter inch drive ratchet and a two inch quarter first thing we have to do is take the mower deck off so I'm going to take a pair of pliers and I'm going to take my wire here uh, I'm going to use that just to um, hold up the front end of the bracket for the mower deck and then you want to put your mower deck all the way down to the lowest position that you can go. And that would be just by pushing your height pedal all the way up and then cranking this down to zero or as close to zero as you get. Let go of the pedal. Now it does have here on the side of the machine, it says when you're before changing attachments, lock pedal here. Now, I think that's for the ones that have spring loaded tension. This one actually doesn't have spring loaded tension. We're not going to need to lock it, but if you do want to lock it, this right here is your lock for your mower deck lift. All right. So you pull this back a little bit, pull this up, and that actually will lock it. And now you can't push it forward. All right. And that actually helps when you disconnect everything. So we'll just leave it like that for now, I guess. And if you can do this on asphalt or pavement, that's the best way to go. Now this deck belt is actually broken, so I'm going to show you one thing you have to do. If the belt is not broken, there is spring tension on this arm right here, okay? Now this belt is broken and we're taking it off to put a new one on. This arm right here is normally taut, it's normally spring tension. Okay, you see how it's going there? Alright, there's a little notch right here, a little square notch. That's actually designed that you can put a 3 8 drive ratchet in there and then all you have to do to loosen up that tension is just by pushing pushing it with your uh, 3 8 ratchet and then you can take the belt off very easily that way okay so now this is broken we don't have to do that but i did want to show you that so when you do put it on right, and you're going to see that we'll use that method to put it on okay so we have hanger here that has just a clip pin here uh, this is a nice clip pin from John Deere. They're kind of a little tricky sometimes to get off. And pliers will work, but it looks like you can take this off by your hand. And then I'm going to pick up the back end of the mower deck a little bit. Like I said in the past on different videos, that you're going to push this pin out. And try to hold on to it. Don't lose it. I'm going to go around to the other side. Same thing over here. Little pin. Just pull them out. And they whoop, go right up like that. And I'm going to pick up the mower deck a little bit just to leave the tension off of it, off these arms. Push the pin out. Set it back down again. Now, before you put the mower, before you put this up out of the way, I'm actually going to, you know, we'll put this up out of the way. Okay, so we're going to put these up out of the way next. So you're going to come up here to your pedal here. You're going to put your, on your handle up here, you're going to push this pedal back a little bit, press this pedal. Put, push that bracket down. Actually, it's a handle. Put the handle down. And then you're going to push your pedal for the height all the way down and lock it in. Okay. Now, what that does is it brings these arms out of the way so you can actually slide this out easier. So now we have the front bracket that holds the mower deck on. And I'm going to actually going to move the mower deck forward. And with the wire that I showed you, this wire here, if you push your mower deck forward just a little bit, it'll drop off here. And then what I do is I'll pick a hole or a slot inside of the frame of the, of the tractor itself. I'm just picking a hole. You can just pick a hole. And this is just a, an old wire, copper wire that I had sitting around. And I'm just going to run it down underneath here. And I'm not going to run the tractor, so it's not going to matter too much. You could take this bracket off if you wanted to run, run this tractor around, but I'm just getting it up out of the way. 
So now we can pull this mower deck out with that bracket up in the air. This mower deck will come right out. And there you have the mower deck out. All right, so next what you want to do is take off the one cover. It's going to be a 13 millimeter side so the cover, which is right here. Like I said, 13 millimeter socket to take them off. Now you have, this is kind of like a big mess because it actually broke. It looks like he must have caught something on his blade and it broke it. All right, you have to take off this right here is a, this is what keeps the belt on. Actually, looks like they're a little bit loose too. Um, these guys here keep the belt on, they're belt guides. And you're gonna take, I'm just gonna take this one off and then being that this one's already loose, I'm not sure why that was loose. That could be re the reason why it came off. I'm gonna move this out a little bit out of the way. That's all you need. You just need to move it out of, all, out of the way, just enough that you can get the belt out. All right, so we can get these belts out here. Now behind here, you have two guides. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit. And the reason why we needed the hook is to take this spring off. This is spring loaded right here. It's kind of hard to work in between there. So you might be able to muscle these off with your hand and just kind of pull this, but I just use a hook and it'll just pop right off like that. And that will loosen up this right here and that'll give us access to getting in here. And then you have to take off, these are 15 millimeter nuts or 15 millimeter socket and takes off these nuts. These guides right here are very tight right to that and you can't, you just can't, it just doesn't come up. You have to take these off or you have to loosen them up. So use a 15 millimeter. Okay, so 15 millimeter socket. Get them loose. Now, I'm not gonna take it all the way out, but I'm loosening up a lot. Okay, and you, in fact, these are, they make this a little bit tricky. You might have to actually take it all the way out because you can't get the belt out. And I also wanna show you, I'm gonna take this one all the way out just so you can see what, what's going on here. When you put these back together, there's actually a notch right you'll see right here I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a notch on this side they go up in a notch like that and that's how they sit okay that's how they that's how they're supposed to be when you get it all back together again so you make sure you put that back up on a notch right there all right I'm just gonna put this back on for now and put the nut just loosely on there set up over here and crack this loose and the same way, this one also has a notch. So these, these guides don't go anywhere. They're in, they're in a notch. And you gotta make sure you put them back in the notch. They really, they really do make you take out these all the way out to get the belt off correctly. Just make sure you put them back in right. I'm just gonna put this back up in there. So you gotta, if you ever fall out, it's a spacer like that. And I'm just gonna put this on for now, just to get this out of here. Now, since this is broken, everything should just fall out of here. Now, I would say at this point, you wanna match up the new belt to the old belt, but this belt is broken. And we know as a fact that the belt we have actually is correct. It's a 42 inch edge deck. Okay, so the part number is an M154621, but don't just believe that this number is correct for your mower deck. You wanna make sure you do what I said and. Take your model number and call John Deere or go online and make sure you got the right belt for the right mower deck. Now, this one here is pretty straightforward, even though it looks like a gigantic mess when you get it together. If you look at the, it has a diagram right here. It looks a little uh, confusing compared to a lot of other mower deck belts. So you wanna start with the back pulley, which is here, the one in the back. The little the little guy there but it's actually this guy here and you have to get that between there and then you're going to run that around the, these pulleys here like that this guy here like this and then this guy here is going to go around now always remember that a v belt will go into a v pulley this is a flat pulley here and then you got a flat pulley here and then you have these guys here have the v so you make sure that you're Belt is in the V, this is on a flat spot. Now these are gonna be a little bit tricky because 
I have to take off the nuts to get everything back the way it's supposed to be. And I'm just gonna take it off. Put this guy up through here. I'm gonna put it in the notch already. I'm gonna put the belt around the pulley. Then I'm gonna put the pulley back on the bracket there and then put the nut on. And I'm holding it all up from the bottom. And when you get it nice and snug with your hand, you wanna make sure that this is not moving. You wanna make sure it's in the guy. Now this guy's gonna go out front to the mower for the engine. And then I'm gonna come around to this guy here, which is actually gonna go back to this guy here. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna to have to take it off again. So we're gonna slide this up. If you can hold it all together, I was born with the one hand, so it's a little more tricky for me. But if you can hold it all together and just slide it up a little bit, then you put the flat, the flat on the flat, and put the nut back on. Make sure this guy's in his hole, in his bracket. Tighten it up by hand. The reason why I'm not wrenching him yet, I wanna make sure that these guys are correct. And then you have the front belt here. It's gonna go back to our engine pulley, okay? So that's pretty much how it's gonna look. Now I'm going to, okay, so we're gonna tighten down this guy, make sure everything spins. Go back over to this guy, make sure it's tight. This guy's a little bit more tricky because it's kind of, it's just sitting there going back and forth. Make sure it's tight, make sure it spins. And at this point, we're gonna put this back on here. We're gonna put this guide here. And that actually will put this guide right here real close to that one. And then this guy here is real close. This is a 13 millimeter. Tighten them up. Now you want to make sure that they're not touching. This guy really gets close right here. You just want to make sure it's not touching. Also this guy over here, it's nice and close, but it's not touching. And then we have to put the spring back on. And I use my hook. So you have to put the spring, make sure that the spring is on the bottom here. Okay, and then you're gonna pull the spring onto its little either arm right there. Now, like I said, underneath the machine, this here is, is designed for a 3 8 ratchet, which we're gonna actually use to alleviate this tension here. So when we get underneath there, we're gonna I use this guy and I'm going to just push this forward and that's going to give us a lot of slack to put the engine pull, to put the belt around the engine pulley. All right, so let's put this back underneath the machine. Oh, wait a minute, we have to put a cover on, almost forgot. We got this guy here, I'm going to put the belt cover on. Again, it's 13 millimeter. I just snug these up. Just snug them up. It's plastic. You don't want to go too tight on these because they'll actually, uh, you can break the plastic. So when I get close, I just snug them up. That's all you need them to do is just snug it up. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay, so now we're ready to put it underneath the machine. Slide it back under. Now, starting with the front first. Since we have this hanging right here, I'm just gonna undo my wire and let that go back. And make sure you undo the wire from the tractor so you don't have it hanging there. Now, if you're good, you can just slide this guy back a little bit. We're gonna jiggle on it. It'll take a little bit to get it lined up perfectly. This one's a little more tricky than normal. It does take a little bit. Now we do have to put the foot pedal, you have to put your uh, hangers down again. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna unlock this here, push that in, we're gonna bring that pedal back and then lock it up. Now that will put our arms down and this one dropped right between it, which is good. Now, as you can see, nothing lines up real well right there. That's why you tend to pick up the mower deck in the back a little bit. Like that, you find the hole. And then you gotta go from the back side on these so you can put the pin in the front. And then you put your pin in like this. 
All right, I'm going around the other side, the other one. Okay, brackets down. And we're gonna lift up the motor deck in the back. Push it through, let go of the motor deck. Put your pin in. Okay, so at this point, now we have to put on the belt and I'm gonna use my 3 8 ratchet to alleviate that tension. If you, now you have to make sure that everything is going the right way. Make sure your belts are, everything's lined up here. Okay, make sure everything's right. And then we're gonna find the hole for the 3 8 we should probably be doing this from the other side. But either side, I'm just gonna push that tension in. Now this is a little tricky, like I said, with you guys out there with two hands, it might be a little bit easier for you. So I'm just gonna push this forward, which will give me a lot of slack. Wrap that around the engine pulley in the front, and then you can slowly remove the tension. Just make sure you're on the right side of the belt. You can pull your ratchet out of the hole. It looks a little strange on how this belt is tensioned and it's definitely a different look from a lot of belts. Just make sure you check how everything runs and make sure everything is running exactly how it's supposed to be on the diagram there. And that's pretty much how you put the belt on the John Deere. Okay, so once you got the motor deck on, you want to come over to your deck height pedal again. Now, since we have it locked in the back position, I normally do this with the hand, pull that back a little bit, push your lever down. That will allow your, your um, brake height, or not brake, your height adjuster pedal to make sure that you can push your deck all the way up. Go over to your height adjuster, and let's just say we had it at three. I'm just gonna put it back to three. Put, your, put it back down on the, you know, the notch, put it down on the adjustment, I should say. That's the, um, this is the height adjusting lever there that you use with your foot. Anyway, um, hope you guys got all that. Uh, this is pretty much sums it up for putting the mower deck belt on the X300. I definitely would do your tire pressure, level the deck, and that's uh, pretty much it for getting this back together again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.